Yes, as they are... As they are wrangling us like cattle. Yesterday, there was uh, a little bit of a pushback. In fact, I think it's a lot more than just a little pushback. Yesterday, it was um, Constitution Day, and the president spoke at the National Archives. And ABC... Yeah. ABC News had this headline. Trump delivers racially divisive speech at National Archives. Now, Pat, did you see this speech? I did not. Okay. Well, I wanted to read it to you today. And so I looked for, I Google searched, transcript for Trump speech National Archives. It took me a while to find it. I kept finding the story about the divisive speech. So I finally went to ABC, and I thought, well, they must have the transcript, right? And they did. Right underneath the story about how racially divisive it was, I give them credit, they had the transcript. Now, I want you to know, it says right on it, this transcript has been automatically generated and may not be 100% accurate. So I just want to throw that in because they felt it was important to say that it may not be 100% accurate. So here is the transcript from ABC News on the racially divisive speech at National Archives, and I want to read it to you verbatim. Our Constitution was the product of centuries. Could she was in the news their hands? Noble has done more to advance human condition Progress, it is. Precious, parents, we can't. News founders, just for me, or Myanmar. Far left demonstrators, have she and Edwards. It was never greater. Patience and so, our cars, the senators. We'll look, liberal politicians, staff in large corporations. Two months ago, cultural world revolution is overthrow the American average and many of these tests and other renters know good news I'm a cartoon our children I am quoting from the transcript that may not be 100% accurate but it makes more sense than any Biden speech we've seen in the last two years (laughs) that actually may have been oh my gosh you're right that was Biden's Biden's, speech yesterday yeah, yeah How di- I mean, that is it's amazing. That is amazing. So, Pat, I want you to stop me. I want to read this because I think this is so powerful. What he said yesterday. I want you to show me mm-hmm. where it's racially divisive. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm truly honored to be here at the very first White House conference on American history. That I think the left might say is racially divisive. The first ever White House conference on American history. Why would that be divisive? Because the president showed yesterday, I know what's going on in education, and we're about to do something. And he announces it. So important, our mission is to defend the legacy of America's founding, the virtue of America's heroes, the nobility of the American character. We must clear away the twisted web of lives, lies in our school and classrooms and teach our children the magnificent truth about our country. We want our sons and daughters to know that they are citizens of the most exceptional nation in the history of the world. Seriously, unless you're a Marxist, anything, anything? No. To grow up in America is to live in a land where anything is possible, where anyone can rise, and where any dream can come true. All because of the immortal principles our nation founders inscribed nearly two and a half centuries ago. That's why we've come to the National Archives, the sacred home of our national memory. In this great chamber, we preserve our glorious inheritance, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. On this very day in 1787, our founding fathers signed the Constitution at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. It was the fulfillment of a thousand years of Western civilization. Our Constitution was the product of centuries of tradition, wisdom, and experience. No political document has done more to advance the human condition or propel the engine of progress. Yet, as we gather this afternoon, a radical movement is attempting to demolish this treasured and precious inheritance. 
and we cannot allow that to happen. Anything racially divisive so far? Anything? No. Okay. The left-wing mobs. Notice he's not saying Democrats. He's not even saying liberals. He's saying the left-wing mobs. We all know what he's talking about. And in fact, uh, research now shows that uh, more Americans understand these to be riots and not protests. And more Americans are now saying that this is hurting the civil rights program, not helping. The left-wing mobs have tore down statues of our founders, desecrated our memorials, and carried out a campaign of violence and anarchy. Far-left demonstrators have chanted the words, America was never great. The left has launched a vicious and violent assault on, the, on law enforcement, the universal symbol of the rule of law in America. These radicals have been aided and abetted by liberal politicians, establishment, media, and even large corporations. None of that is untrue. He says the mobs are far left and they're being aided by liberal politicians and the media and giant corporations. Show me where a word of that is divisive and not true. Unless you think the truth is divisive, which a lot in the media do. Uh, whether it's the mob on the streets or the cancel culture in the boardroom, the goal is the same, to silence dissent, to scare you out of speaking the truth, and to bully Americans into abandoning their values, their heritage, and their very way of life. We are here today to declare that we will never submit to tyranny. We will reclaim our history and our country for citizens of every race, color, religion, and creed. The radicals burning American flags want to burn down the principles enshrined in our founding documents, including the bedrock principles of equal justice under law. In order to radically transform America, they must first cause Americans to lose confidence in who we are, where we came from, and what we believe. As I said at Mount Rushmore, which they love to rip down and they'd rip it down fast, that's never going to happen. Two months ago, the left-wing cultural revolution designed to overthrow the American revolution. As many of you testified today, the left-wing rioting and mayhem are a direct result of decades of left-wing indoctrination in our schools. And it has gone on far too long. Our children are instructed from propaganda tracks like those of Howard Zinn that try to make students ashamed of their own history. The left has warped, distorted, and defiled the American story with deceptions, falsehoods, and lies. There is no better example than the New York Times totally discredited 1619 Project. This project rewrites American history to teach our children that we were founded on the principle of oppression, not freedom. Nothing could be further from the truth. America's founding, set, uh, America's founding set in motion the unstoppable chain of events that abolished slavery, secured rights, defeated communism and fascism, and built the most fair, equal, and prosperous nation in human history. The narratives about America being pushed by the far left and being chanted in the streets bear a striking resemblance to the anti-American propaganda of our adversaries because both groups want to see Americans weakened and America weakened, derided, and totally diminished. Students in our universities are inundated with critical race theory. This is a Marxist document holding that America is wicked and a racist nation that even young children are complicit in oppression and that our entire society must be radically transformed. Critical race theory is being forced into our children's schools. It's being imposed into workplace trainings. It's been deployed to rip apart friends, neighbors, and families. The perfect example of critical race theory was recently published by the Smithsonian. This document alleged that concepts such as hard work, rational thinking, and the nuclear family, and a belief in God, were not values that unite all Americans, but instead were aspects of whiteness. This 
is offensive and outrageous to Americans of every ethnicity. And it is especially harmful to children of minority backgrounds who should be lifted up, not disparaged. Teaching this horrible doctrine to our children is a form of child abuse in the truest sense of those words. For many years now, the radicals have mistaken American silence for weakness, but they're wrong. There is no more powerful force than a parent's love for their children. And patriotic moms and dads are going to demand that their children are no longer fed hateful lives, lies about this country. Americans parent, America's parents are not going to accept indoctrination in our schools, cancel culture at our work, or the repression of traditional faith, culture, and values in the public square. Not anymore. We embrace the vision of Martin Luther King, where children are not judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. The left is attempting to destroy that beautiful vision and divide Americans by race in the service of political power. By viewing every issue through the lens of race, they want to impose a new segregation, and that must not be allowed to happen. Critical race theory, the 1619 Project and the Crusade Against American History is toxic propaganda, ideological poison. And if it's not removed, it will dissolve the civic bonds that tie us together and will destroy our country. This is why I recently banned tradings, uh, 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 trainings of this prejudiced ideology from the federal government and banned it in the strongest manner possible. The only path to national unity is through shared identity as Americans. This is why it's so urgent that we finally restore patriotic education to our schools. Under our leadership, the National Endowment for the Humanities has awarded a grant to support this development of a pro-American curriculum that celebrates the truth about our nation's great history. And it will encourage our educators to teach our children about the miracle of American history and make plans to honor the 250th anniversary of our founding. From Washington to Lincoln, from Jefferson to King, America has been home to some of the most incredible people who have ever lived. With the help of everyone here today, the legacy of 1776 will never be erased. Our heroes will never be forgotten. Our youth will be taught to love America with all of their heart and their soul. We will save this cherished inheritance for our children, for their children, and every generation to come. God bless you and God bless America. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Whew, stations, I apologize if we're removed from uh, the airwaves for, for, by the FCC. I completely understand because of this divisive hateful rhetoric.